New Brunswick is absolutely filled with the best photographers, and each one of these photographers has a, their own specific spin or take on their chosen photographic genre. My name is Mark Hemmings, a professional photographer for over two decades now, and I'm absolutely thrilled to introduce to you Kate Taddock. Now, Kate's images are stunning. They're evocative. They, they just drip with emotion. She is a master at fine art portraiture. And what we're going to do is jump into an actual photo shoot that she's doing with her model, Brittany, and also go over her top five favorite photographs. Okay, let's begin. Okay, so I'm just a fly on the wall. Sure. You do your thing. I'm just gonna watch. I'll ask you a few questions if you don't mind. No problem. Okay, let's do it. All right, awesome. Okay, so I'm just gonna get you uh, going down the trail. Yeah. Awesome. Put your hand in your hair. Yeah, great. How do you know what yep. you want so quickly, Kate? Um, well, I, um, I'm a lover of hair movement, so one thing, even just to get the model comfortable, I'll just get her to start playing with her hair. Another thing that I really like is fabric movement. So yeah. see the way that she picks up the dress and how it just like changes the whole mm -hmm. like look. Okay. Uh, so I like, I really like that. It's, it makes it very dramatic. And turn around to me like you heard something. You're like looking around. What was that noise? I'm like, look up. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Okay, I really love what you did there, Brittany, with that again. So I kind of want to go do that again and just like, keep your arms like up and like super dramatic and like keep your eyes open really wide and just kind of be like, what was that? So on the count of three, one, two, three. Yes, so good. For those who have DSLRs, uh, ISO, anything like that? Well, so I, I like to keep it at the lowest aperture I possibly can. So like yeah. right now it's 1.8 because I just want that like dreamy kind of look. I like to keep my shutter speed absurdly high. To me, it's absurdly high at 1,000 right now. Yeah, well, that's fine. And then the ISO is at 320. Okay. And I honestly feel like that's really like true to what's going on, like a little bit more it's, moody. It's perfect. Yeah. So Kate, I was really excited about just being able to sit down with you and just chat about your top five photos. This first one, tell me a little bit about this shot because initially what I, I was thinking is the, the island behind, it appears that the island is created by the smoke. Well, I had the smoke grenade, um, and it was uh, the first uh, black smoke grenade I'd ever used. Okay. And the smoke just, it did blend into the background so well. And the graffiti matched, which was not intended, but when she got up there, it was like, we were meant to be here. I've always had a fascination with mirrors outside of like, their natural habitat, like on a wall. Okay, yeah. Because it's just so fascinating, right? Like, exactly. it's like a portal. Yeah. And so, um, you know, just seeing different photos over time where, you know, there's mirrors out in the, out in the woods or yeah. like different things. So I saw this mirror on Marketplace and I just was, it was the right price and I went and got it. And I was Love just it. like, Brittany, we're going. Okay, so we'll continue moving towards the mirror. I like the colors and everything here. So I'm gonna start getting little shots of like her feet. Okay. But now I kind of want you to start like, just like bending down and you're like, just like, what is that? Yep, great. Open your eyes and just like, yeah, really nice. The value of working with a model who actually knows what they're doing, it's just yeah. night and day, I'm sure. Yeah, and we've shot a few times before, so there's a comfort level there. So Kate, I can see exactly what you're seeing because I'm sort of looking over your shoulder. And already, this is a stunning image. But what about editing? Like, how much time do you spend editing that photo to make it sort of your own? Well, you know, honestly, it depends on the vision. Um, so the vision I have for this is like, it's kind of moody and yeah. dreamy. I love the color palette and yeah. Brit like looks great. Like there wouldn't be, there wouldn't be a heck of a lot. Um, yeah, okay, awesome. Um, Brit, take your hand and grab the mirror, like grab the, yeah, and then come up a little bit. What a great look. Yeah, and like the, her tattoo placement on her arm just make it even more dramatic than if just like a person without tattoos was grabbing yeah, it. Cause exactly. you can just kind of get that extra color and art. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna come over this angle now. Yeah, it's stunning. But how does time of day affect your photos? Oh, big time. Well, I mean, it depends on the light. Like, mm -hmm. well, four o'clock, yeah. this would not be happening. Right. You know, just like that bright, harsh lighting. Exactly. But like right now, like, look how diffused it is on her skin, right? Well, like it's, it's just soft, it's yeah. perfect. So Kate, if you envision like a scale, for example, and on one side was technical, the other side is heart and soul, you know, like in a shoot like this, which would win? 
As far as uh, heart and soul, 100%, that has to be there. Right. Basic clarity on a photo, okay. if the photo is clear, but if you can ultimately um, get to know your camera yeah. and get to know your environment, which is time of day, get your settings right, and then it's the least amount of work yeah. when you get home. Are you ready for number two? Sure am. My friend Brandon, very thoughtful guy, I asked him to go stand in front of the exposed arch. Okay. That was intentional. The framing was intentional. That's beautiful. And then the snow and his hair at the time, like the mm -hmm. wind just took it. And he just, I just told him to go stand with his profile and he just automatically did the kind of pensive, moody mm -hmm. pose, which just came naturally to him. No, I love metaphor, I love narrative, I love allegory, and you have all of those aspects in this picture. It's, it's stunning. You. Now, photo number three, it really grabs me. Now, this is, of course, the waterfall shot. That shot of my friend Melissa and at Wellsford Falls, which normally is a roaring waterfall. We almost yeah. turned around because it was a trickle. Okay. But um, we actually remember that day well because we were having a really good conversation that day. We were just, you know, each kind of going through a thing. And that was at the end of our shoot. Okay. And I just feel like we channeled kind of what we were feeling. Right. And she got in the water and just, I don't know, like it was very comfortable. Yeah. We both kind of had the same vision. Okay. That was kind of it. What's your vision for this scene? You obviously have an idea. Well, I just put on my wide lens. Yep. Because um, I want to capture the the wooded landscape, okay. but also the beautiful sunset that's happening now. That's also reflecting on the water there. Yeah. And get Brittany in her movement in the dress yep. and the mirror kind of continuing the magic. So Brittany, I'll just get you to look down like you're doing. It's great. And it's it's amazing because I'm getting the sunset in the mirror oh, as well. Oh, I already well, love it. So. First shot, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Do the uh, we do your hair thing again. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. And keep the yes, beautiful. So good, so I'm just gonna angle it around a bit more. Yep. Oh, it just couldn't be better, really. So great. Yeah. So I'm really happy with the cotton candy look that's happening with this guy right now. I'm not gonna get the mirror in the shot, I'm just kind of taking advantage okay. of like this in the back. Yep. So, yeah, hair is good. Yeah, hold it like that, it's amazing. Yeah, great, so I'm just gonna brighten it up a little bit. Now, when you say brighten up, like you're referring to making the exposure a bit brighter or a bit darker, depending on the scene. Well, I'm gonna go for, just to get the immediate gratification, I am yeah. gonna bump it up to be a little bit brighter. Yeah. Um, so I've got it at my, my 1.2 aperture, and then I got my ISO up to 1,000. This okay. camera can handle it pretty good. Yes. Yeah. 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 Look out, love it. Oh, you can't go wrong, like, like the, I just kinda want it to be a little bit darker, actually. Um, but like 800's kinda like the sweet spot there. I'm gonna keep that there. Yeah. Now, how do you know that you want the picture darker when you're in the camera? Like, what is the... Uh... So, my my goal is always to, I want it as dark as possible yeah. without making the model's face, like, you know, muddled or, you know, not looking nice. Yeah. So the mood comes a lot of times from the yeah. darker exposures. It does, saying. yes. Okay. But also you want to keep, like I said, the model looking, because not everyone wants to see their face looking dark. Yeah, exactly. You kind of want that dreamy look. Like, uh -huh. I just can't even believe the sky right now. It's so yes, beautiful. Yes, it's perfect. Yeah. Okay, so oh. we're on to number four. This is a really striking picture, and I know that when I first saw it on your Instagram, I said, what is going on? Because it's very rare that we would have a Viking in <laughs> yeah. New Brunswick. Uh, so this was a big collaboration with myself, a couple of the models, yeah. and uh, Ashley Brown from Hammer Threads, okay. and her partner, Josh. So we go out to their camp, and we show up to a literal Viking camp, yeah. an, an encampment. Josh, who lived there and did a lot of the work, he has true Viking heritage. Oh, wow. So I do attribute like a lot of magic happening there too. Like yeah. this is real. And by the way, your treatment, your depth of field, everything about this works. Thank you. Now we're gonna get to the fifth and the last of your top five. Why did you compose this shot the way you did? And tell me what the model's doing. I wrote uh, in 2018, like a big three day exam just down the street in that house. And so it represents like a very stressful time in my life. But as I was driving to my exam location, I saw that abandoned house. So of course I had to go visit it. Come back in the winter with my friends. Cause I'm like, gotta photograph this house, right. show up the snow. And we're just kind of poking around. And my friend, Nicole, just walks up to it like that. And I'm standing behind her and I just tell her, 
don't move <laughs> and took the photo. From looking at your top five has inspired me in many ways to, uh, you know, to try some of these things that you've done. So excellent work. Thank you so much. That's very flattering to hear, especially oh. coming from you. <laughs> well, it's all deserved, Kate. What an absolute thrill and an honor to be able to watch Kate at work using a model, getting these amazing fine art portraits. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. I learned a lot and I hope that you did too.